Hello. How you doing? Gonna be doing some puzzles. Uh, specifically, I wanna play some Minesweeper. Specifically, more specifically -er than that, uh, there's a game called Minesweeper Variants that I bought last night. Because it was on sale. I think it's on sale still. Uh, and it's really fun. It's like Minesweeper, but there's extra rules. Isn't that great? <clears throat> uh, can I tell you guys about a Reddit post that I saw the other day that I've been thinking about since I saw it? It's kind- I will- I'll- uh, let me get ahead of it and warn you. It's kind of gross, okay? It's- it's a little gross, so... If you are sensitive to topics such as, um, poop, don't listen, and, uh, I'm sorry. But, so here's the thing, okay. For a little context, I really like this subreddit, r slash sex, because it's so funny to me to have a subreddit dedicated to, like, such a base human instinct like it's like having r slash eating as a subreddit right so i like that subreddit and the posts range from uninteresting to kind of funny from now now into then um no it's it's very specifically not porn it is not a pornographic subreddit at all you are not allowed to post Pornographic material, you're not allowed to link any sort of, you know, anything salacious. It is it is a it is an informational subreddit, which I I really like. Uh anyway, so the post went something like this. The the title of the post I don't I don't have it pulled up or anything. I'm just going off the dome. And it said something along the lines of how do I- how do I word this? I believe it was something along the lines of, uh... <laughs> girlfriend pooped a lot and became very embarrassed. Okay? So you already know what we're dealing with. And the body of the post was pretty much what you would expect. Here's the thing, you know? It's- it's some, you know, a- a, a couple. A couple in deep love with each other, in so much love with each other that they feel comfortable performing sexual acts which involve uh, parts of your body where waste is expelled, which is not abnormal. And whenever you're doing things like that, there is the chance that something could occur which may happen uh if you aren't you know it, it it's not even like a, a a carefulness thing sometimes you know that's just what that part of the body does right so here's the reason why i bring this up because to be honest this is not an abnormal topic on the r slash sex subreddit all right this is not th this topic comes up more often than than you'd think maybe and uh the thing that was cracking me up, and the reason that I'm telling you and, and thinking about it, is like this poor guy. He's like, "Yeah, we were we were doing it, and there was a there was an accident, and uh, she like my girlfriend feels terrible about it. I tried consoling her. I like I've done everything I can. I, I like I told her it's not a big deal. It's fine. Like the guy seemed very like le like he wasn't mad. He was like doing everything right." Right? So I feel bad for this guy. The thing that was making me laugh was the comments, the top comments were like, yeah, man, I don't know. I think you, you gotta, you have to go out and buy her flowers. You gotta take her to a nice restaurant, you know, buy her gifts and stuff. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. You're the guy that got shit on. You, you get shit on and you have to buy her presents? What? Doesn't that seem backwards? 
that's all I'm saying, you know? It's like, oh, okay. I am on the receiving end of a, of a, you know, an accident, but, you know, something, something a little gross, and it's like, ah, oh, dude, fucking insult to injury there. You get shit on, and now you have to go and buy her flowers because she shit on you. That's all I'm saying. So I've just been thinking about that post. That's that that's been on my mind for a little bit ever since I saw it. I, I think it's just the specifically it was the wording of like you have to buy her flowers because she pooped on you <laughs> was really getting me. Alright, let's do some daily puzzles and then we'll do some uh Oh god, it's 2015. Alright, one second. Let me uh pause this music. Okay, this is 2015, 1.8 billion views. It's a easy par two, but anytime there's a bandle after 2011, I simply don't know it. So uh, let's let's try it out. Okay, it's a it's a clock. This is. Are you see? Is this really it? What am I supposed to do with this? I, is it literally, is the drums of this song a clock? Are you for real? Okay. Uh, well, time, clock, clock, uh, uh, Isn't it, uh, Inception soundtrack? No, that, that doesn't work. Uh, uh, yeah, it's probably, um, direct times are changing. It must be. Oh, uh, what do you know? It wasn't that. All right. This is a part two? Where's the brass ensemble plus synth? Is it broken? I don't, I, I literally have no idea what this is. What the fuck was that? That's like the song that plays when you get three stars in a mobile game level. What? Uh, hold on. Okay. Uh, 20, okay, I, I think I'm, 2015, 2015, I graduated college, what was I doing in 2015, besides looking for a job, who was famous in 2015, man, that was almost a, that was like a decade ago at this point, uh, Oh, man. I don't even... This is the hardest bandle of all time. Half of it isn't even a song, and then it's just, like, one little trumpet. Is this, is this a... R Rihanna? 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 How do you spell Rihanna? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Bruno Mars. This is, uh... This is, this is a Bruno Mars song. Okay, it's not a Bruno Mars song. Okay. Yeah, I... I just... I don't know. 1.8 billion views. That's insane. What is this? Who else can I think of that's from 2015? Who, who was famous in 2015? 1.8 billion. Like, that's not... That's not rookie numbers. 1.8 billion is like that's that this is a well-known song from 2015. Okay. 2015, 2015, 2015. 
I don't, not, not, it's not going to be Eminem. It doesn't sound like a rap song. Maybe R&B. I don't know. The guitar is very like nothing. This must be like a pop act. Who's famous in 2015? It's like not, okay, no, not Pink. I don't think Pink did anything. Uh... Is it, I don't know, Katy, Katy Perry? I, okay, it's definitely not, uh, is it a Katy Perry song? It's not a Katy Perry song. Okay. I, yep, I don't know. I'm like just hoping I get at least the band right. <sighs> Who else? 2015. Was that- was 2015, like, Adele? Mm, that sounds like male vocals that it's trying to be, though. It's probably not an Adele song. Is that supposed to be male vocals? Should I be thinking of, of somebody with male? Maybe, like, Chainsmokers? Chainsmokers is more like, they do like EDM, don't they? I don't really know what the Chainsmokers are. I'm realizing. Hmm. I, I've got no idea. Chainsmokers. Something like this. Alright, it's not the Chainsmokers. Here we go. Last last one before we have to just guess the name. This is, this is not any more helpful. I I legitimately I do not know this song at all. I am uh 21 Savage. It's probably not Post Malone. Uh. Tw 21 Pilots. It's not Stressed Out. I know that one. I don't. It's probably not 21 Pilots. I, I kind of know what Stressed Out sounds like, and I think I know what Heathen sounds like. Don't know what Ride sounds like. I don't know. All right, adore you. Great. What is it? Love you? Oh fuck! I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get this. Like, like you, adore you, like you, love you, need you, in love with you, love, love you. Oh my god! I, I'm not. I'm not gonna get this one. Love. I'm not in love. It's not California love. It's not ABBA. It's not Amy Winehouse. Probably not Avicii. Barbara Streisand, Bee Gees, Beyonce. Love. Is it, is it love you? Love, adore you? Love your, is it this love yourself by Justin Bieber? Love yourself doesn't really match up with adore you. I would think that adore you is... I don't want to listen to it again. Shut up. Adore you would be like you're telling some... I don't know. Uh, love, love you. Love you more. Love yourself. Love you like I love myself. Lose yourself. I will always love you. You spin me round like a record. I don't know. It's Justin Bieber. It was Justin Bieber. Okay. Yeah, there is no way. There is literally no way that I was going to get that. It's like I said, if if it's past 2011, like, I'm fucked. I can't get it if it's past 2011. Like, it's so, it's so hard. Anyway, let's do connections. Hey, where'd my music go? Oh, it's just in between songs, I think. Alrighty, what do we got here? Joker, Dice, Chance, Casino, Octopus, Slot Machine, Cube, Gamble, Shiva, Julianne, Heat. Okay, 
Slice, dice, cube, julienne. Ways of preparing meat. Or I guess it doesn't have to be meat. Uh, bet, gamble, risk, chance, gambling, put on the line. Oh, this one's easy today. What the hell? Venus to Milo, Shiva, Octopus. Heat is a movie. Joker is a movie. Taxi Driver is a movie. Casino is a movie. Movies? Movies and... I don't know what these would be. It's just movies, right? Like... Oh, Robert De Niro films. Fair enough. Uh, no idea what this one is. Octopus, Venus de Milo, Slot Machine, and Shiva. Nope. Is it something within the words, maybe? Slot Machine, Venus de Milo. Is it just things with arms? Venus de Milo, isn't that the one where the arms are broken off? And then Shiva has a lot of arms. That's dumb. It's just arms. Distinctive number of arms or lack thereof. That's kind of a stretch, but I guess they just gave it to me because the first three were so easy. All right, well, that was fun. Uh, this is a game called Minesweeper Variants. It's like Minesweeper, but ver varying. There are extra rules that you have to do. Uh, but let's start off with just regular Minesweeper. Uh, how do I go to the next one? There we go. Uh, in case you don't know how Minesweeper works, uh, you got a number that tells you how many adjacent squares have a mine. So this one says one. There's one square. Now we know. That one has to be a mine. Uh, we know that because this one is two, there has to be a mine. There has to be one mine here. There can't be two, which means because this is three, one here, one here. So it has to be one there. That gives us this two. This three is free. This three is free. We know that there has to be one there. So that means one flag here, one here, and one here it means that this one can't be. So now, <clears throat> now we gotta think a little bit. I think those are all the freebies. So three mines in these, and three mines, okay, here's my logic. There has to be three in these spaces. So because there has to be three within this, that also encompasses this three. Which means that this can't be a mine. Because if there's three here, then we already know that this these two clues satisfy each other. So I think that means this one can't be a mine. Yeah. And because that one... Get all this chicken scratch out of here. So now we know that this one is a mine. Now we know that this one has to be there or there to fulfill this. Oh wait, we don't even need that because this three... This three gives us those. And that one's okay, that one's okay. So now what? There's three mines remaining. <clears throat> one of them is here. Which means two of them... The last two mines are over here. So there's those. And then... This one's fulfilled, and the last one's there. There we go. Whoopee! 
But that's just normal Minesweeper. Now we get to play Special Minesweeper. So this one is in every 2x2 two two area of the grid, there must be at least one mine. So every every single intersection of four will have at least one mine in it. So how does that help us? There's not a lot of clues to work with right off the bat. But, let's see. So we know there has to be one mine in these three. And there has to be one mine in these three. But, if there's a mine here or here, then that means that there could not be a mine in, in these three. Okay, so yeah. So it can't... So I think... This has to be a mine. This has to be where the one is. Because if you put it here, it can't be over here. And if you put it over here, it can't be over here. And then that would make it so that the 2x2 two two is not valid. Okay. And the way that this works is if you make a mistake, like, the game will tell you. You can't... It's not like Sudoku where you can get 90% of the way through the puzzle and then it just tells... And then you just find out that you're wrong. It's, uh... It'll tell you when you're wrong. You have to get everything right in order in one go without guessing. And we can do those. So, what else do we know? Oh, this one's easy because this is a three. So we got those. And we know one has to be here. We also know one has to be where? One has to be in these three. Then we also have this three. This corner is okay for the quad constraint. I mean, we know that there has to be at least one here. But is that helpful? It has to be one here. Let's say that there was a mine here. Is that okay? Actually, I think that's less constrained than saying that if there's a mine here, that fulfills... This and this. If there's a mine here, there's not a mine anywhere else on this row. And if that's true, is that a problem? That means that this one would have to be over here to fulfill this, this guy. Hmm. Tough. Definitely tough. Am I missing something obvious? So far, all of these bottom guys are okay. This one, and then also, okay. So the quads on the bottom three are, those are all fine. Lots of empty space still. Hmm. Oh, there's already three here. What am I doing? I don't even... The... Yeah, duh. Okay, and then there's that. Shows me for not paying attention. So now we know there's one here. And there's two here. But there's also... Okay. We know there has to be at least one mine within these two spaces, right? Because it has to fulfill the quad rule. So because of that, we know 
that this three would be fulfilled by that. So I think this can't ever be a mine. I think this, yeah. Doesn't really help that much, but it is true. But this four has these two, one right here. So this one, this one has to be a mine. So that one has to be a mine. So now what? We know there has to be a mine here or here. But that doesn't... Probably doesn't help. Hmm... I guess that does help because this four... There can only be one mine in these two. This four already has these two. That makes it three with this constraint, which means that in order for there to be four, this one has to be a mine. And then that fulfills this four. Okay, we're getting there. Four mines remaining. So we still know this three is good. It's either there or there. So there's one. We know that there must be a mine here for this constraint. One, two, three. That can't be a mine. Two here, that's already done. Four there. One, two, three. Alright, I believe this one's done. Got it. I like these quad ones. They're pretty good. Alrighty. Interesting. So... What do we know? There's two here. But there must be one here. There has to be one for this guy. This guy right here. So we know that. Okay, yeah. So there's there's one right here, so that's that's one of these, but then where does the second one go? We also know there must be one here. And there must be one here. And there must be one here. Hmm. So I think the only place for the two mines here are these two, right? Because that... That's the only two spots where it would fulfill all four of these requirements. I think these two... Oop, I misclicked. Whatever, that's fine. We're at the start at least. Okay. So there's that. Three, there's two here. There must be one here for the quad constraint, which means that one cannot be a mine. Five, two. We know there must be one there. There must be one there. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's only one spot here that does not have a mine. So what does that mean? What does that tell us? There's gotta be one here. Gotta be one there. Gotta be one there. At least one. So there's only three, but we know that there has to be five. So does that even help? I'm not sure that helps. Hmm. Well, let's say there was a mine here. If there was a mine here, then there could not be a mine here. And that would put one in every other spot. Is that okay? I don't see why that wouldn't be okay. 
Because there's five here, and three here, and three here. I can't prove that that's not possible. But what if a mine was here? If a mine was here, then we know that it's not there. Do we know anything else? We know that there would be one mine here. And we know that one has to be here. So, oops. So that would mean what? That would mean that this is not a mine. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I think no matter what, these three have to be mines. I think there's no way for one of these to not be a mine, because whether you put this three here or put it here, you always end up with three mines up here. So I think that's I think that's logical. Yeah, okay. That's good. I'm getting closer. So now we know... What do we know? We still know that there's one there. We still know that there's one there. We know there has to be one mine in these four. At least one. But that doesn't really help because we already know... That there does have to be one over here. In fact, it's even more constrained than that. We know there has to be one there. So... But we do know that there only has to... Er, no, wait. No, I don't think we do know that. My mistake. There's five mines remaining. Two of them surround this. One's here. That makes three. Mmm. Mm, getting stuck. <clears throat> Getting a little stuck. Maybe I need to look at this too. If there's a mine here, then because there must be a mine here, we know that this one couldn't be a mine. So if there's a mine here, there has to be a mine there. Is that a problem? I don't think that's a problem. I think that's okay. One, two, three. Ah, no, I think that is a problem. If there's a mine here, that means there's not a mine here due to this three. If there's not a mine here, there has to be five around here, which means both of these would have to be mines, which means this three would have four. So I think this cannot be a mine. This, this has to be a, a safe space. Because of how it chains with the rest of the logic. I'm willing to click on that. Alright. So that's good, because we know that that means that's there. Getting close. Four mines left. So now what? We know one mine is here. For sure. Which means this is also a mine because of this five. And that one's done. And that one's done. There's only three mines left. I think it's gonna involve the... Number of mines remaining, which is three. Because we know one is here. And one is here. Okay, here's my logic. I think there can't be a mine here. If there's a mine here, then there is not a mine in any of these spots. And there's three mines remaining. So that means that there, the only other spot it could be is here. But that's only two. And there's three. So I think this can't be a mine. Alright, which means this is a mine. Which means... Now we're back to the quad constraint. Because... 
There has to be a mine here, which puts it there. And there's two left. Which means this is not one. That solves that. That solves that. And that solves that. Can you call me Dr. Puzzles? I guess. I don't think I would respond to that if you... Like, if somebody yelled out, Dr. Puzzles, I don't think I'd turn my head. I think I would assume that they're talking to somebody else. Alright, let's do a different variant. How about this? Let's do checkerboards. So the way that this one works is... Mines, which are on the gray squares, count for two instead of one for the numbers. So, what that means is, because this is a one, and the gray squares count for two, you know that there cannot be a mine on the gray squares surrounding this number. And we know that there must be one, just one mine in these three spots. What else do we know? This four is a little suspect to me. The only ways that you could get... The only way you can get a four here is involving this gray square, right? This is worth two. Without using that, you only have a maximum of three with these. And even then, you know that there can only be one. So this, this has to be a mine. So now we're up to two on this four. And we know that... There can only be one between these two. So this one also has to be a mine. And now we also know, because of that, we also know that this one is not a mine. So, what now? Do we know anything else? Seven. We have seven. What's the max here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, all these are mines. Easy. Done. Finished. Does this help us progress at all, though? So we still know about this one between these two. This four... Still need to fulfill two here. Hmm. So the only options are two black squares or one gray square. It cannot be all three of these. But I don't know if that's particularly helpful to recognize. Hmm. Let's say it was here. If there is a mine here, this fulfills this four and this two, and also places a mine here. So far, so good, right? Hmm. So that doesn't help. What if there is a mine here? If there's a mine here... If there's a mine here, this two means that there would have to be one here. This is also okay. This is not helpful. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I think I, I think I'm, I think I'm figuring it out. Cause, cause, if there was a mine here, this four is fulfilled, which means there cannot be any more mines around the four. The two is around the four. It, it overlaps logically, but there'd be no spots for the mine to go, cause you need two here. So this, this cannot be a mine. This, that, this square has to be, uh, safe. Which I am correct. I love when I'm right. So now what? Still pretty tricky. This four, what are the options here? And I guess there could be one on these, right? 
One, two, three, four. Is there anything wrong with that? That's... I think this doesn't work. Because this four is okay. This four is okay, but this two would have to put a mine here. And then this four would have too many. So... There must be one gray in use on this four. One of these grays, at least one of these grays, is a mine. Does that help? I'm not sure that helps. I'm not sure that helps at all. Hmm. Does placing that matter? Hmm. Getting a little stuck again here. Let's think about this. It can't be all four black ones. But what if... If it was this... Let's say this was a mine. That puts us at three here. One of these has to be correct. But that doesn't work. Okay, there can't be a mine here. Because then there would have to be two mines here for the two, and then that wouldn't be four. So that's not a mine. That's seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, this has to be a mine. It's the only way that that works. Now we have two over here. Now this one's really making me work for it. Damn. So two of these black squares are mines. Okay. I think I think the I think it's collapsing because Two of these black squares have to be mines. So if this was a mine, there would be no way to fulfill this seven at that point. So I think this can't be a mine, which means these two are mines. That fulfills that one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one, two, three, Four. This one is done. One, two, three. And there we go. That was a tough one. A real thinker. Alright, what do we got here? Two. There cannot be a mine here. Six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe this three? Right, there has to be a mine here. And that puts one mine here. One, two, three, four, five. So that's not enough to fulfill this six if all the blacks are filled. This has to be a mine as well. So that puts us at one, two, three, four, five. So we also know that one of these two. So there's one between these and one between these. And we have two here. Does that help? I don't think that helps. Because it could be these two. Two. Whoops. If it's these two, that fulfills the four, and then you could just put these over here, and that would fulfill these. So that's possible. Oh, we have this other two to work with up here. But this could be any of these, actually. 
Yeah. That could be any of those. So we know that there's only one mine between these two next to the two. So this five needs three more mines around it. Which is either these three, which would be okay, I think. Yeah, that, that would be okay. Uh, versus if one of these was a mine. Is this okay? This puts us at four, and it puts... So that, that would fulfill that, so the only place for the mine to go would be here. Is there anything wrong with that? One, two, three, four... No, because you could still put them over here. I think that's valid. Hmm. Hmm. I'm... I'm becoming stumped. Five. Five here. One of them is here. If there... If there's a mine here, if there's a mine here, the four is fulfilled. So none of these are mines. And that would leave us with what? That would leave us with not enough to fulfill this five, because that would only be two, and then this would be one. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. This cannot be a mine, which means this is a mine. That one's done. One, two, three, four, five. So that one has to be a mine. That one's done. Mine goes there. So now we know for this six, we have four. So it's either here or it's these two. No matter what, these would fulfill this two. So I believe that means that these could never be mines. So now what? Now what is the question? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so these have to be mines. There's three mines left. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, three. Three between these three means that there has to be a mine here. Oh, no. I did it wrong. Hold up. Oh, because of this gray. Ah, shit. All right, well. That's a heartbreaker. I don't really want to go through and do all that again. <laughs> right, I was thinking... I was thinking too quickly. I thought it had to be here because of the gray, but... It could be here. Really, what I should have said is there had to have been at least one here. Well, bummer. Go again. Hmm. This one seems hard. So, what do we know? Hmm. This one, I don't even know how to start it. Let's just look at all the clues. Four here. Puts us... There and there, or... One and these two? 
So like that, potentially. So these two are overlapping. So there must be four inside of these, right? Which really means that there has to be two between these. Which means the only place for a mine is here. And this one can't be a mine. All right. And this one's seven, so that's just one, two, three, four. Well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there has to be a mine here. And that puts three of them around the seven? Hmm. But I don't think it can be... I think both of... I think these have to both be mines. Because if you had something like that... No, I guess that would work. Because then you could just do like that. And I think that's okay. Yeah, that, that would work. Hmm. Ah, but if you only have one here... Okay, I think I had the right idea, but in the wrong spot. Because if you... If you had a configuration like this, there's no way to make four here without putting another one there. So I think these have to both be mines. Let's see. Yep. One, two, three, four. So one of, one of these is a mine. One of these is a mine. Is this helpful information? Hmm. I'm not sure that this is helpful. Maybe something to do with this four. Ah, 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 here we go. This four has three, so it cannot be a gray square. Now, let's not think too quickly here. It got me in trouble last time. Three here, so... Three. We know for sure there must be one here, right? To fulfill this four, there must be a mine, well, exactly one mine in one of these two spots. To fulfill this three, that would mean the only valid configuration would be using this gray square. And since we know that, then we know that this one can't be a mine. And that's a three. So that puts that there, that fulfills that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that one's done. All right. What now? What now? Same logic in this corner. It has to go here. And then that gets that one done. That one's there. That one's done. That one's done. One, two, three, four. And there we go. Perfect. All right, maybe a couple more of these. I want to unlock a new variation. How, how much long? I think if I do... No, not restart. If I do one more quad, I unlock a new rule. And if I do one more this, I unlock a new rule. Let's do a quad one again. All right. 
queue. There's definitely some kind of rule with twos when it's closer, when it's not on the wall, because there has to be, there has to be two mines between these, you know, in there. And in order to fulfill the quad rule, the only places those two mines can go are either here or here. Because otherwise, you know, then you would be missing these corners. That goes true for however configuration you want to put it. So I think that means that these cannot be mines. Cool, cool. So now there has to be one there. So there... Wait, no. No, no, no. Hold on. Well, there has to be a mine in these two or in these two. Right, okay. So there does... There is only one mine here, which means there are no mines. Whoops. There are no mines here. Okay, that is correct. Now... We know that there has to be one in these two to fulfill this quad. So that means there has to be a mine there. And that means that's done. And that means there also has to be one there. So now what? There has to be one there. Fulfill this too. Ah, uh, here's something interesting. Or is it? No, maybe that's not interesting. This three is suspect to me. Because... We already have two, so we're only missing one, and we know that there has to be one here to fulfill this, this corner. So I think that means this can't. If this was a mine, then there'd be no spots for it here. So I believe this can't be a mine. Getting there. So now what? So that's that this three is already done for us. That one's done for us. Getting closer. Get eye surgery. Well, I've never had surgery on my eyes, but I do wear glasses. I tried to get LASIK, but they told me I couldn't get LASIK because uh, my corneas are too thin. And they said if they shot them with a laser, there's a chance that it would slice through the cornea entirely and blind me forever. So I said, okay, well, don't do that. And now I can't get LASIK. I would... Here's the thing. I'm kind of torn. I think I look better with glasses on. But... I wearing glasses is kind of annoying. I don't know. If I could get LASIK or some other, you know, uh, corrective eye surgery, like, I, I don't know. I really do feel like I look better with glasses on. I feel like I look weird with glasses off, but maybe that's just because I've been wearing them my whole life. Maybe I could get used to it. There was a short period in my life where I was a contacts guy in uh, college. Because I thought glasses looked lame. I also had a goatee. I didn't look good in college. I wonder if I have any pictures of myself in college. I, there might not be. The, literally, I may not have a picture of myself from ages 18 to 22. Like, that just might not exist, to be honest. I don't know if I have any pictures of me from that time in my life. Oh, my old license? Maybe, but I don't think I kept those. Anyway, in case you were wondering what I looked like in college, I had a uh, shaved head, not like shaved bald, but like buzz cut hair, goatee, no glasses. And like, actually, okay, I say it's a goatee, but there really wasn't a mustache component. It was more just like a, a, a small beard. Yeah, I looked bad, man. It was rough in college. 
I was not... I did not have a style. My style in college was, was whack. I'll try and find a picture of one. I, I legitimately do not know how I could get a picture, though. Like, I... Number one, it's in the past, so, you know, the future marches on. But number two, yeah, I think I just don't have any pictures of me from that time period in my life. Maybe I, like, check through my phone, like, really, really, really old pictures or something. But I don't know. Anyway. Oops. I didn't mean to click that. I didn't want to hit. Fuck. Hold on. Restarting this one over. <laughs> I admit, I fat fingered it. How did I start this? I started this by saying that- Oh, fuck. Hold on. It can't be here. I remember this. I did that, uh, and then I said... There has to be one there, so there can't be one there. And then I said there had to be one there, so there had to be one there. And then that one's done, and then there has to be one there, so that one had to be like that. And then, uh... Is this where I was? No, I said this one couldn't be... Because of this three, and then I think this is where I was. Oh, no, wait. And then these two, and then that one. Okay. I think we're back to where we were. I looked like a killer. I don't know. Here's the thing. I was like, in college, I was not happy. <laughs> I mean, you know. I was not like, uh, I was not like debilitatingly depressed, but... Oh, boy, college is rough. And I think it's because I had no swag. I was completely swagless. I think college would have been a lot more fun if I realized I was bisexual in college, but I didn't really accept that until I was graduated. <laughs> so I, I, maybe I would have had more fun. But, you know. Can't change the past. What can you do? Alright, let's not fuck this up this time. So, what do we know? We know there has to be at least one mine here. Does that matter? I look like a guy who lifts weight as their only personality trait. Well, here's the the kicker. I didn't. I mean, I didn't start going to the gym until a couple years ago. I was, I was not. I was gangly. I mean, I wasn't even gangly because I'm short. So like, I was just like small, you know. In college, I was just like small, unattractive. Smoked a lot of pot. Didn't really try hard in school, you know, just, just college stuff. That's how it was. Watched my friends play League of Legends. I didn't even play League of Legends in college. I would just get high and watch my friends play League of Legends. That's how bad it was. What do we have here? Has to be one here. Has to be one there. What did I go for? Uh, computer science. I'm a programmer by trade, which is why I can stream in the middle of the day and still have a job. Because, uh, I, di I already did all my work. <laughs> so I, I, like, whatever. I guess I'll just stream. Hmm. Having trouble here. There has to only be one here. Does knowing this help me? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I see it now. Because of this guy. The, the mine has to be here because of, of this guy. Alright. Boom, boom. Back in it. There has to be one here, which means there can't be one there. That has to be safe. And then in order to fulfill this quad, it has to be here. That fulfills that. 
One, two, three, four, five. And there we go. Have I played Simon Tatham's Puzzles? No, I haven't. I haven't heard of that. All right, let's check out this new rule. What do we got? All mines are orthogonally or diagonally connected. Okay. Yeah. Understandable. Pretty simple rule set. Now let's learn. There's three here and one here. Okay. So I'm already seeing the constraint. If you put a mine here, then you can't put one here. Would that be a problem? I guess you could like go the long way around. Wait, no, 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 because then you need these. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if there's a mine here, there's not one in these three, which means that this three could never be solved because you'd have to put two here and there's no place for the third one. So we know that that's done. So can I just extend that logic? I mean, if there's one here, then we know that there is not one there. So that, yeah, so that it can't be there either. Alrighty. So we know there's one there. Okay, we know that there is one within these two, but if we put it in this corner, then they have to be connected, so there's no place for it to go. Because then it would overload this one. So it can't be there. That puts it there. You know, there has to be one mine here. At least one. But there could be two. You know, there's one mine here. Oh. This one's already solved. That puts that one there. Those there. Okay. So now what? So we know one of these three has to be a mine. We know that there's two here. But they can't both be here because of this two. So I think one of them has to be here. And that puts one here, which means that one can't be a mine. Okay. And we know that they have to be connected. Or I guess uh, they could connect here. Okay, but that does mean I think there has to be a mine here or a mine here in order for this guy to connect, right? So I think that means... What does that mean? So there's two here. There has to be one here. I think none of these can be mines. Okay. Got it. And this also can't be a mine now. If we put a mine here, then this little, this little Tetris piece would not connect to anything. And that puts that there, solves that, solves that. Only two remaining, and those two are both in here. So... Hmm... Right, so these can't be mines. Yeah. Oh, baby. Alright. I get it. I understand. I'm solving. We do be solving. In order to connect, there must be one here. There also must be one here, because of this two. So, this three is... 
here, here, and here. It can't be there. Good, good. But now what? Now we have this one. I think... With the ones, it can't be in the corner. It can't be in the corner because then it's got no place to connect to. Zero. All right, that, well, that's easy. One. That's free. Another one. Hmm. Kind of an awkward configuration. So, because of this guy here, we know that there has to be one here, right? At least one. I think there could technically be two... Right? I don't think that breaks anything. I'm running out of coffee. <sighs> Alright. Four... But we know that there's one here. At least one here. The problem is, is that it's at least one. It's not only one here. So technically, it could be that and then either one of these. Like, I think that's valid. Is it something with these, perhaps? With this one? Or is it something with this three? I don't think there's anything wrong with this configuration. Hmm. Right, right. Okay. There has to be one there. There has to be one there. At least one. <laughs> We know that there's definitely only one over here, at least. But does that really help? Let's say that there was a mine here. If there was a mine here, then there would not be a mine there. And that's a problem because you have no way to get this flag connected to the rest of them. So there can't be a mine here. You like Professor Layton? Honestly, I've never played a Professor Layton game. I probably should, though. I think I would like them. I just, I've just never played it, to be honest. I think there has to be a mine here, because there's, that's the only way to get this guy out of here, is to put a mine here. And that means there, what? Oh, because it, fucking, it can be, or, or it can be diagonal. Shit. Alright, hold on. <laughs> Let's redo this real quick. Uh, what did I do? I had that, and then I had that, and then I had that. I had those, and I had that. And then... Yeah, I think... Right, and then I said that... Yeah. I think we were this far. So, with this four, there's two mines between these three. Okay, there, there does have to be a mine here, though, I think. Yeah, because it has to connect back up with the rest of it. These connecting puzzles honestly remind me of the uh, Islands of Insight puzzles. That game was fun. I wonder if they ever added more stuff to that game. 
I liked Islands of Insight. I played that game for a while. It was very strange, but it was it was a cool concept. Got four mines remaining. Four mines remaining, and we know one has to be here, and one has to be here. If there was a mine here, that'd be three remaining, and then there wouldn't be enough spots left. So this can't be a mine. And then there's only four left and four spots. There we go. Bada boom. <laughs> Now let's do one more of these, uh... Let's unlock the next thing, and maybe I'll do a crossword to, to wrap things up. I don't really plan on streaming too long. Just, just a little midday puzzles, you know? So we know that there has to be one here. Which means there can only be one. These cannot be it. Now. Now what? Hmm. It can only be one here. But... I think... Okay. I don't think there can be a mine in either of these spots. If there's a mine here... Then the only other place that you could place one to fulfill this too would be here. But by placing a mine here, you're overloading the three. Because then there would be one, two, three, four. So I think uh, neither of these can be. Yep. So, that means that there is a mine here. You know, there's one in one of these three because of this two. We also know there has to be one in one of these two. Okay, so this, this, this can't be a mine. Yep. So, now what? We know there has to be one there. There has to be one there. Hmm. Damn, what, what game is this song from? This, this is a good song. This is from a game called Tuj King the Spirits 2. It was apparently on the Sega Saturn. This is this song reminds me of a Rocket Robot on Wheels soundtrack, which was a N64 game. Okay. Perhaps this five will give us the answers we seek. We need to make four. We cannot make four if there's a mine here because there's no way to add up. So that can't be a mine. So two of these, two out of the three of these are a mine. The VOD of me playing Rocket is one of the few that survived. That's funny. I think it was a pretty nondescript stream. I mean, I wasn't... I was just playing Rocket. Okay, so the only place for this two to be fulfilled is here. Bada boom. I 
I think for this eight to be true. So we already have two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's no way to make eight only filling one of the grays. So both of these have to be. And that puts this at solved. Glad I could help, Mike. I know, you know, sometimes to get you through the workday, you need some puzzles in your life. Three, that one's done, that one's done, that one's done, one, two, three, four, five, that one's done, that one's done. Alright. I just got an achievement. Let's, let's, let's check out what this, uh... Check out what this one is. Each clue is either one greater or one less than the actual value. Okay. That seems pretty hard, to be honest. Okay. Well, this is obviously not a zero. This this one is definitely a one. Uh, so at least I... Well, is that true, though? Let's say this was a one. Well, it, obviously it can't be negative one. So no, it, it has to be a one because it's, it's either one greater or one less. There's no, it's never equal. So this has to be one. And if that's one here, then this has to be two. This can't be four. So that's two. My handwriting is bad. So that puts one there. So, if there's one here, so this one, so this has to be three. This one can't be four. This one has to be two. The yellow is not making this very easy to read. <laughs> okay, so if this one's two, then we know that those two are, like, that. that's done. We know that there's one here. This is a three. One, two, three. That's done. Well, this one's definitely not one. This one has to be a three, which fills these in. Excuse me. This three. Let's let's clear this shit off. This three cannot be a four because there are not four spots. So this has to be a two. So there has to be one here or here. And this one can't be a five. This one has to be a four. So, if there has to be only one here and here, right? This three can either be a two or a four. But if it's a four, it would have to be in all four of these spots. Which it can't be, because that would overload this two. So this has to be a two. And since we already have one here, and we know there must be one in one of these two, I think this can't be a four. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, it can't be a mine. It has to be a safe spot. And I think that means that all of these are mines, right? And then... We said that this one has to be a two, so that one's actually already filled. Two... Right. I'm just double checking before I click here. And that puts that one there. 
This one has to be a three. There's all those. And we did it. Ugh. This also reminds me of Islands of Insight. There is a lot of, like, one greater, one less, and it's such a, a brain buster. Well, that was fun. I like this game. This game is a lot of, a lot of fun. Uh, you guys want to do a crossword? And then we'll wrap up. Just a little, just a little crossword for you. How about it? We're going to do Mondays, though, because I'm very out of practice when it comes to, uh, crosswords. Get ready to be flashbanged. That doesn't fit. Hold on. That chat is way too big. Oh well. <laughs> Hopefully that's legible enough. Alrighty. One across. Things opened in bars and browsers. Tabs. Surfer's ride. Surfer's ride. Board, wave, wave probably. Pollution in the sky. Smog. Maybe. French friend. Is that Ami? I believe. They love this one. I, I The only reason I know this one is because it shows up in crosswords. Done. Finished. I don't know. Four letter word for done. Sneakers brand. Second rock from the sun. Well, that's Venus. Energy unit. And amp? Energy unit? E, uh, don't know. This is walks, right? Wait, uh, pans for making beef chow fun. Jacob's twin, that's Esau, right? Spill the beans. Tattle. Netflix true crime series about big cats. Is this Tiger King? Is that a true crime series? I, I guess it is. They did do crime. I haven't seen the show. Sheesh, what a day. Am I beat? Maybe? And then still pending letters is TBA. Input analyzed by a computer. Or no, TBD. To be determined, not TBA. I don't know what A would be. Uh, big data. Data, data. Jumps like a frog. Leaps. Finish every last bite on your plate. Eat it up, maybe? <laughs> I don't know about that one. Bean and refried beans. That's a pinto, baby. Take a breather is rest. Maybe it is eat it up. Dubai's Federation. Is that United Arab Emirates? Is it eat it up? The Matterhorn's range. Uh, is that the Alps? Backyard hideout. But treehouse. Whoops. Tree hose. 
noodle soup with a Saigon style. That's pho. On campus residence dorm. Uma Thurman. Evergreen that grows well in coastal soil. Hmm. Evergreen that goes spruit, spruit. No, I don't know my trees. Marshy wetland is probably a bog. Soak up. Absorb. Cold sounding commercial prefix. Cold sounding. Hmm. Heavy hammers. Sledges. Like some cheddar. Sharp. Shaken or stirred is a martini. Like some pricey produce is organic. Gosh. Spread the wealth is share. Big is large. This is something pine. Or some, something pine, rather. This is ETA. What is this, Erica? I don't know. I'm not familiar with anybody with the last name Durant. Are you looking for chat help? I, I glance over at chat whenever I get stuck. Feel free to play along if you'd like. Is some like sand pine? Sa I don't know what else this could be. Sa sir, sir. It has to be sand, right? I don't know what cold-sounding commercial prefix means, though. It's a prefix? Commercial cold-sounding. Ice? Does it mean cold, like, physically cold? Or does it mean cold, like... Does it mean cold, like, uh, emotionally distant? Oh, snow, like snow cone. That yeah, makes sense. What is this? Avia? And this is over? Race car safety feature. Roll cage. Oh, I thought it was roll cage, but that doesn't fit. Same here. Me too. PC alternative is a Mac. 15 for a quinceanera. I believe that's age. Self-indulgent episode is an ego trip. Great Barrier Reef locale. Uh, well, Great Barrier Reef is... Off the coast of Australia? I think, right? Is this just like... Coral Sea? Or something? Prepared to throw a dart could be aimed. And then rooftop lounging spot could be terrace. Powwow -wow host. Tribe? Serious genre is drama. More friendly is nicer. Ancestry test material is DNA. Mimicked is aped. Oh, it's roll bar, not roll cage. 
Drag with effort. Lug. A roll bar is something on a race car that stops you from dying when it flips over. Basically. Drive up a wall. Probably annoy. Predatory fish capable of crawling on land, or what each part of 16, 24, 37, and 53 across can be. Uh, what is this? Tiger. Sand. Tree. Coral? Predatory fish. I don't know that one, to be honest. Make simpler. Simplify? Sim uh, ease? No. Maybe not. Energetic songs. Oh, is this bangers? And this is none of the above. And this is... Wear the crown... Rain. Companies such as Verizon is an ISP. Pricks. Pre fee offering. I don't know what that. I don't know what that one is. Digging tools. Shovels. No. In the lead could be on top. This could be spades. CFO's degree, what is that? An MBA, I believe. Poker steak is an ante. Union payments are dues. You had to be there. I don't know what this one is. I think I might have something wrong here. This corner is, uh... Pro... Is this pro... Probate? And this is something head? Watch closely could be eyed. Third person pronoun. Uh, three words? Or three letters, rather? Approval to could just be okayed. Hose. And then she. Alright. Yep. That's a Monday. Monday is easy. But I picked an easy one because I haven't done any crosswords in a while and I didn't want to just get stumped. 12 minutes, not bad though. Let's see. Maybe I'll go for another 20 minutes, just make it a solid two hours. What should I do for the next 20 minutes? Well, let's see. I'm, I'm looking through my Steam library. Do I have anything interesting I can do for 20 minutes? Oh, let's do Game Dole. How about that? Or not Game Duel, what's it called? Guess the Game? Or is it Game Duel? It's the one that's like practically impossible. Oh yeah, it is Game Duel. I like doing this. 
This is that, this one's so stupid and hard. I love how lo how hard this this one is. Like, just guess a video game out of every video game that's ever been made. Like, fuck yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Uh, all right. What's a video game? Give me give me one to start with. What should I what should I start with? What's the first game? Diablo 2? Sure, why not? Diablo 2. Alright. It's not... Okay. It's on at least PC or Windows. It's after 2000. And it might be single player, multiplayer, cooperative. Not bird view. Uh, okay. Let's think of something really recent. Try and narrow down the year. Let's go with... Uh, is Civilization technically a bird view game? I was gonna go with that, but maybe something more multi-platform. Maybe like it's like a first. Let's how about how about how about Sleeping Dogs? All right, all right. It's a third-person game, single player, single player only. After 2012, multi-platform. Potentially a shooter, potentially an adventure, potentially open world. So, past 2012, single player only is going to make it hard. Third person, single player only. Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda. Okay, it's even newer than that. Right, I f okay, I forgot it's on the PC, so it, c it couldn't have been Breath of the Wild. Uh, okay, on the PC... Hmm... PC, single player, past 2017, third person. Third person. Hmm... Trying to think. Now it can't be Sonic. It, it can't be Cult of the Lamb. The, I think Cult of the Lamb would count as top down and Sonic would be side scroller. It has to be a 3D third person game. It could be Assassin's Creed. What's the newest Assassin's Creed called? Assassin's Creed. Uh, fucking, I don't know. Odyssey? Wait, no. That. I think there's a newer one, right? What's the one in Egypt? Revelations? Oh my god, there's so fucking many of these. Mirage. Oh, wow. Okay, newer than 2020. It came out this year. This year, multi-platform, single-player, third-person game. This year? Uh, that narrows it down, but... Not by that much. Multi-platform. Maybe it looks like it's probably an adventure game. Probably an open world game. Oh, Dragon's Dogma. Uh, does Dragon's Dogma count as single player? Yeah, that okay, let's let's try that. Dragon's Dogma 2. No. Not that. It's apparently on more consoles. What? Okay, so it's, it has to be on the Switch. It has to be on the PC and the Switch at least. Those, like, hmm. So it's, it can't be a... Something that's only on the PC and the Switch what came out this year is only single player and third person. And is probably an open world game. And it's not an RPG and it's not a beat em up. What fucking third person game? Okay, maybe it's a shooter? A third person shooter on the Switch? I guess it doesn't have to be a shooter. Third, 
What? What would only come out on the Switch and the PC, though? Or I guess it, I guess it could have been Switch, PC, and PlayStation and Xbox. Hmm. What could it be? Not hack and slash, not a beat em up. Third person shooter multi platform. Talos? Was that. Was. I don't think. Was Talos 2 this year? I'll check my Steam library. Uh. Nah, Talos Principle 2 is last year. Can't be that one. Oh, and Talos is first person, duh. Well, I don't know if it's a third-person shooter. I know that it might be a third-person shooter. But it's definitely not an RPG, and it's definitely not a hack-and-slash. I can't even think of what to guess. Pal World? Was that this year? I think Pal World was last year. Little Gator Game would definitely wasn't this year, I'm pretty sure. It has to be this year. And also Pal World's multiplayer, yeah. The thing that's throwing me off is the fact that it has to be on the Switch as well. We also don't know what engine it- This has got to be some game that, like, nobody has ever heard of. What the fuck could this game be? I came out this year? Penny's Big Breakaway? Was that this year? Is that even on here? Yeah, Penny's Big Breakaway is not on here. M. Dicky? I, I don't think it's an M. Dicky game. Also, that's multiplayer. It can't be that. It, this is a single player only game. That's third person. I'm looking up a list of games that came out in 2024. I'm 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 looking. I'm seeing get list of video games in 2024. Let's see. All right. It's got to be single player. Okay, wait. Maybe is it that new Astrobot game that came out? Oh, no, wait, no. It has to be on the Switch. It can't be Astrobot. It's got to be fucking multi-platform. So it's definitely not Astrobot. Uh. Whoo. Multi-platform, single player. I don't think it would be Genshin. Cocoon. Did Cocoon come out this year? I'm going to check to see if Cocoon came out. No, I don't think Cocoon came out this year. Hmm. Maybe it's like a... Is It could be some kind of third-person horror game. Maybe. Like a... I don't play horror games, so I don't really know... Hmm. One Crab's Treasure. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's try that. That is not... Oh, another Crab's Treasure. No? Okay, well, we know it's Unity, but that's not really helpful. Also, the platforms still aren't entirely right. And it's not an action game. Okay, this has to be some kind of, like, farming game, right? Like, this this has to be, like, a, a Stardew Valley type type of game, right? Or maybe a puzzle, like a third-person multi-platform. I only got four guesses left. I don't play any of those, uh... I don't play any of those, like, farming games, so I don't know any of them. Dreamlight Valley? When did- did that come out? I think that didn't come out this year, right? Or did it? Did Dreamlight Valley come out this year? No, Dreamlight Valley came out last year. 
I remember seeing that at like some E3 thing. It's a Unity game. Maybe like a Unity farming, like a cozy farming Unity something. Uh, uh fuck man. Is it Gollum? <laughs> I don't- it's probably not Gollum, right? Did that even come out this year? Is it Lord of the Rings Gollum? No, that probably wasn't made in Unity, right? And it's also not open world. So it's probably not Gollum. It has to be a fucking farming game. It has to be. All right, I'm I'm taking the one-time clue. I'm show me the clue. What do we got? Double Dagger Studio. Okay, well that's not helpful unless I just want to cheat and look up what that is because I've never heard of that studio before. So I'm going to guess if I look it up, it's just going to give me the answer. So that's not really helpful. Uh This is why this is the hardest the hardest dole of all time is because it's every video game that's ever come out. <laughs> Alright, Double Dagger. Alright, Dagger. Sword. Well, okay, they're called Double Dagger Studio, but they don't even have an action game. Uh, you won't get this. Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware I won't get this. Yeah, if I, I'm sure if I look up this studio, this studio has probably only made one game, and it's probably the one that it wants me to guess. And, uh... Uh, okay. Alright, alright. What if I cheat in a different, less cheating way, and I go on Steam, and I go to the Steam store, and I look up... Farming. Tags farming. And I look at games that have come out this year. Uh, okay, uh, games have come out this year. All right, what's this one? Uh, Fields of Mis Mystria. How about that? Fields? Okay, that one's not on there. Uh, I don't even know that it has to be a farming game. I don't know why I'm stuck on it being a farming game. Uh, what else? Uh... Pa Palia. Palia. It's not Palia. Oh, that came out last year. Steam lied to me. I guess it came out on the Switch before it came out on Steam. Uh. Oh, and it also uses the Unreal Engine. Uh, well. Hmm. 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 All right, uh, well, uh, hmm, maybe it's Go-Go Town. Go-Go Town? Go-Go Town is not an option. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. Super Mario Brothers U. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. The Wrath of Cortex. Oh, I've actually heard of this game. But I did not think to do it. I have heard of this game. But, well, that killed about 15 minutes. It was not a farming game. I don't know why I thought it had to be a farming game. I just like got it in my head that it was going to be a farming game. But it, it wasn't. Let's do, uh, how about this? Okay. Well, it's red. Uh, fire, firefighter simulator. Uh, red fl flame, fire, breath of fire too. Okay. This looks like, like a clown, maybe? Um... This is a person's face. Uh, wrong franchise and saga. So it's not Breath of Fire 2. Uh, is this... Uh... Uh, is this a clown? It's not a clown. It looks like an alien, maybe? It's like an XCOM. 
XCOM Chimera Squad. Nope. All right. Uh, okay, zombie. Maybe. Or something. Some kind of zombie. Is this a... Is this, um... A weird alien face and maybe a dying guy or a zombie? Is this... Zombie. So is this dying light too? No. Okay, I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> what is this? I don't I don't know what this is. It's like a, this must be like an old game, right? Like what the what's going on here? Uh zo zombie. Zombies? Zombies ate my neighbors. Okay, it's definitely not that. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Cave story. Fuck. What the fuck is this? I don't know what this is. Who is this guy? What is happening in this art? I don't know what this is at all. What is this? Bit? This is like a skull man? Skull robot alien? Uh... Anime? Not really anime. Uh... This is, uh, this is, um, Vampire the Masquerade. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Okay, never mind. It was Postal 2. <laughs> well, I was never going to get that one. I've not, I have not played any Postal games. Well, that one didn't go very well. How about Classic? What the fuck is this? <coughs> what the- I don't- Uh... Okay, classic. Classic games. Pong. Not- okay, not Pong. Uh... This says... Oh, 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 Amer- Awesome? What does that say? A hero? Go ahead? Go ahead... Is this like a cat? Some kind of science. Uh. Uh. Um. The, uh. Double Dragon. <laughs> Double Dragon 3, the Sacred Stones. Okay, nope. There's some kind of gun. There's a person. Some. This is like a. Is that a laser sword? Uh, Strider. Strider new. Why does it say new? Okay, it's not Strider. Is this like a metal... Metal slug? Maybe? Probably not a metal slug, right? This like weird gun thing. Uh... Is this just Metal Gear? Is this the original Metal Gear? Hey! I knew that this this little robot here, I was like, that's either Metal Slug or Metal Gear. I can't believe I actually got that one. That's crazy. What else? Oh, this one's like super impossible. Robot Boost Flight Go-Kart. Okay. Uh, Astrobot. Airplane Hedgehog Weapons Drifting. Robot Hedgehog Airplane and Go Kart makes me think is this Team Son or what is it? I mean Sonic All Stars Racing? Transformed? Oh wow! Ha! <laughs> That's a game I actually know. This is a game this is a game very near and dear to RTBS's heart. We love this game. What I didn't click on that. Or whatever. Well, what the fuck is happening? My, my computer is going on its own. What's going on? It keeps changing pages. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I think that's it. I don't really have anything else to that I really want to do. Just some, just some puzzles and stuff. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let's see if there's anybody to raid. I might try to do some more of these, um, you know, small-ish 
little midday streams type stuff. Let's go raid Holly. But yeah. Uh, oh yeah, tonight uh, on Wayne's stream we're doing MMOs. So uh, I hope you want to go see that. I don't even know what time it is. I think it starts at like 8 Eastern or something? 7, 8 Eastern? Something like that. But anyway, go go ch go check that out on Wayne's channel. We'll be playing some random crap. <laughs> so, uh... That's, that's pretty much it. Oh, oh, the other thing. So, tentative, but I'm really gonna try... I think Friday is when I'm gonna play Gex. So, uh... Look forward to that. Gex on Friday. Gex 3 on Friday. So... But yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now.